Viognier. Oh, the Viognier. Sorry, the Viognier is in the in the tasting glass, and the Arnaise is in the in the, in the, in the glass to the to the right of that. Um, Arnaise is uh, unusual for New Zealand. Uh, I guess the luxury of being a new world wine producer and very very young. Uh, new world wine producer and that is that we have uh, the opportunity to basically do what we want with with, uh, with, with our vineyards and our wine making practices so um, we we work very closely with with uh, various different uh, if we don't own the vineyards in New Zealand and we work closely with with growers that we've been working with for 15 20 25 years and uh, and, and this particular vineyard is is, is turned to, to be very popular uh, uh, we um, are probably one of four or five growers in New Zealand who do it here and And um, uh, I'm sorry, ah, nice. And uh, it, um, it's, it's, it's a varietal that's not uh, basically uh, in the 1980s was, was virtually extinct. Uh, a couple of uh, growers in Piemonte. Uh, Bruno Giacosa reinvigorated the grape varietal and it spread a little bit to California. There's some growers in Australia and uh, we, 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 um, we got the, the graftings in New Zealand and we're, able, we're fortunate enough to be able to work with people that, um, that, that, that grew and that they knew these grapes. So uh, this particular wine, uh, our, the Cooper's Creek Arnaise from Gisborne, uh, is uh, we nickname it the Little Rascal is the name and the Little Rascal is the actual translation from Italian for an ace in terms of it being a very very difficult wine to manipulate on the vineyards but also uh, in the winery so it's a difficult grape to manage fortunately we've not had any of the troubles uh, to date that uh, apparently are associated with this grape um, it's more of a um, a leaner style, you've got the sort of uh, that vague, waxy, kind of um, uh, highly viscous characteristic, and um, it finishes very, very clean. Um, it's, um, it's something that's, you know, I guess, in, in terms of uh, general popularity is, is relatively unknown so this kind of thing we uh, in the industry say is somewhat of a hand sell and that you need to put it in front of people and explain what it is and get them to drink it and inevitably uh, people you know there, there's people that really love this variety and um, so, so so that's the nice and uh, I believe in the second glass we have